Okay, so I have all of our pieces for our foil drawing. So we have our piece of foil that is very carefully taped down to our paper so we don't cut ourselves on the edge of it. You're gonna work on the front side of this. We need a stack of magazines, newspapers, something to go underneath our lovely foil sheet so that when we dent into it, it has somewhere to go that is not the hard surface of our table. And then you should have a lovely image of whatever location you are going to be in. So you are going to line this up on your paper. I just randomly chose ancient Egypt. And now what I'm gonna do is just lightly, well not even lightly, kind of hard press. I can use really either end of this. You can even use a regular pencil. And if you look, you can see there's now a dent where I put that. So now I'm gonna have to line that up carefully. And I probably shouldn't have taken it off. So, uh, going to carefully line that up. I can feel where that dent is on my paper. There we go. I'm actually going to try using a pencil. Pause for a moment. And I'm back. So we're going to actually take a kind of dull pencil. It seems to work a little bit better than my scratchy tool right now. And I'm just going and giving myself the lines of where the edges of my pyramid are. I'm kind of, you can see, pressing pretty heavy going back and forth on these guys. Do this guy over here. Now I've moved this a little, so again I've got to kind of feel where that uh, edge of my guy is. So we're going to go right here. This is a little step pyramid, so he's a little different. see my pencil's really not drawing too much on the um the, the foil sorry forgot the word of it for a second um you can see my foil is actually bigger than my printout was so i do have to kind of extend those little lines um and this one we're gonna have to kind of make do okay so now i have the basic architecture of where all of my buildings are at this point, you're gonna take all of these lovely symbols that you looked up. So for me, I'm looking at ancient Egypt, I'm gonna do hieroglyphics. Um, and you can use those all across your background to fill in different areas. The closer together you do them, the more concentrated and more depth you're gonna get on them. The farther apart you do them, the more open space that you're going to have. So you get to pick where you're going to do those things. I have a picture that I'm going to insert right here. That picture showed you how you could do that with marker. We're gonna do this on the foil now. So again, I'm gonna cut off here. I'm gonna draw it on here because I don't have to hold my camera and draw at the same time. Um, and then I'll show you guys the final result. Okay, here's our first little update. I filled in the whole sky. So I was drawing, pushing down on this side so that background seems to actually physically go back, which helps make my buildings look like they're popping forward. When I wanna do my pyramid, I can actually flip the whole thing over um, and start doing my designs in here. So I think I'm gonna do, let's pick something fun. Let's do an ankh. And in this guy here, so we're gonna do here, and then go across like this. And then if you look back on the front, it actually pops forward, so it'll help this look like it's raising forward at me. Um, this is also a way that if I accidentally did a line I didn't like, like this already is pushed back here, I could actually push from the back side, and this is our version of erasing. So if I go back to the front, you can see I've now kind of erased, where not all of the lines, but some of them. However, I did actually want that, so I'm gonna bring it back. Now remember, you can only do this a couple of times. The more you draw on stuff, the more done it is. There's not an endless amount of erasing that you can do, and you definitely don't want to erase with your eraser on here. You erase by pushing from the opposite side. All right, I'm gonna disappear again, work on some more, and I'll show you an update. All right, so I finished filling in all of my buildings from the back. I added the ground and the sky from the front. I'm now just gonna take the edge of my little tool and kind of go around the edges 
just real lightly to help kind of push the background back around them. I don't want to be making like too big a scratchy line. Here would be an area where you could actually use your eraser because it'll give it a softer edge and you can see that it's sort of pushing these back around the edge, giving it a little bit of a highlight so that the stuff I want to stand out, being the buildings, the subject of this, do actually stand out. Do it all the way kind of around my buildings. Like so. 